So guys, we're at the one of our jobs for the day. We're gonna go ahead and get things set up, get things going. I hope everybody's enjoying their day. We're gonna show you what the carpet looks like. We're gonna be using my setup here, which is an ETM setup. We've got our Eater heater, which is a great design, designed to be able to produce heat from the exhaust from the generator. Pretty awesome. Got a little bit of our product we're gonna be testing out today. Customer has already taken off from this one, um, leaving us to take care of it for them. They have a few concerns. We're gonna flip you around, show you what the carpet looks like. Well, the carpet's a little beat up very old um, there's a few concerned areas a little bit of a odor concern they want us to take care of it's not going to be a problem for our new product called obliterate it's designed to take care of those odors that may be arising that musky mildewy whatever or pet stain i don't actually see a ton of pet damage we already went through with the black light didn't see a lot we do believe there's like a dog piddle there here and there you know so we're gonna get the truck set up heated up and ready to go thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet do it now I really appreciate it um you know go to gray matter chemistry order some chemical of your own we're gonna use silver solution today and you'll be using our obliterator odor control so odor eliminator actually because it uses clo2 you don't have to worry about odors coming back so we're first going to treat the carpet with some silver solution today we're going to be mixing at probably around two three ounces per gallon i'm going to put it down and get it going all right let's get the vacuuming action guys So guys, we lost audio and we're, I was talking about the pre-spray. We're using Silver Solution. We have in the container 16 ounces of Silver Solution and one packet of Obliterate. And we have the meter set at 9 to 1 on this Hydroforce. Now I like the adjustable Hydroforce. I really like the Revolutions. I know there's lots of guys that have had issues with them. Myself, I've had absolutely killer success with the revolutions i've also had success with the traditional ones as well you want to make sure that you apply the pre-spray evenly in the areas of high traffic and you only need a mist in areas of low traffic you also need to make sure you give it plenty of dwell time to let the silver solution work and let the obliterate work obliterate is a powerful oxidative that uses clo2 to remove pet odors and you need to let it work. If you're not putting it down, 
heavily in the areas of contamination, like I'm pretty sure there's a little PP pee -pee right there, um, it's not going to be effective. It has to get to this area of odor in order to work, and if it does, it will remove the odor. It's very effective at removing odors um, of any sort, especially organic odors. That's what it specializes in. In fact, um, ClO2 has been used in f the food industry for a very long time um, to remove those very unpleasant odors that happen in meat packing and in dairy and other things that have to do with fermentation. So once you get the area pre-sprayed that you want, you just need to let it set for a little bit, and then we're going to agitate, and we're going to agitate with the CRB. You're going to see that coming up in just a second. But once again, you need to apply it heavy enough that it gets to the area, but you don't want to over-apply. Over-applying can be a real mistake. But now we're going to get to the CRB action. Sorry about the loss of audio. You have to hear me do a voiceover. You know, one of my amazing, incredible, awesome voiceovers um, of awesomeness. This is the Whittacher machine. We have a nice, thorough scrubbing. Remember that obliterator, the longer it sits, the more effective it'll be, but it's totally eliminating all the fragrances. This nylon has a ton of soil in it, guys. It's corn rowing already from just frankly decades of being beat up. This is very old carpet. I think they said that it was installed in the 80s. So we're not going to get a miracle out of this one. You got to have realism. There is not a ton of residue in this carpet. It's just old. And that's something you need to understand. A lot of times when you see online, the amazing one stroke of amazingness, is it truly soil or is it a soil that has been attracted to the carpet by a terrible product? That's the vast majority of those um, money shot carpet cleaning scenarios is soil is cracking residue that's getting pulled off of the carpet and I want you to keep that in mind it's a it's a fascinating thing that's not taught frequently enough in the schools um, that guys will put down 30 pre-sprays when really they probably could have gotten away with even just water which is why we developed the product line we have it will not cause sticky residues Wow, look at all that trash we're getting out of this carpet. And we did pre-vacuum with the Kirby. We'll suck those up with the machine. Where there's a seam, because this carpet's so old, we're gonna flip this machine like that. We're gonna skip those seams. You know, you gotta remember, older carpet could have issues, and you could make them worse. Um, seam tape is not infallible. It wears out over time, so walk over it 10,000 times it's gonna be wore out all right well I'll catch you guys in a second when we get to cleaning action alrighty everybody so I put a diverter valve on my wand for the Yater heater um, and what it does the, the heater will get really hot now you need to make sure your vacuum is running and what this diverter valve does is it takes the water from your line allows you to bring scalding out scalding hot water up to this point because it's after the quick disconnect but before the thing and when you turn that on as you can hear the water comes rushing through you'll actually feel the grip get hot and the handle get hot and that way you get heat right away when you start to clean all 
Now right here, if you remember where we sprayed, we're gonna spend a little extra time just sucking before we rinse. Yep, there's a ton of corn rolling on this one. That's not my fault. It's the age of the carpet and probably been cleaned 1,200 times. Wow, that's an exaggeration. A lot. I actually think I'm gonna go turn down my pressure. I'm just gonna change the angle and I'm holding the wand. There we go. Lift up my shoulder a little higher. We right now have a good deal going on the heat exchangers before we raise the price. If you would like one installed on a Harbor Freight generator, we sure will do that for you. At an added, of course at an added cost, but it's a fairly reasonable cost. Today our rinse is a touch of silver solution. I just went ahead and threw it in the tank. I mean, the mixing tank that we have. Take your time, no reason to rush. Careful not to play with those seams, man, I can feel this carpet feels loose and needs a new pad under it. Those been Boy, the 80s, they love thick carpet piles, man. Really take your time. Pull that moisture back out. Giving us some pretty killer heat today. It's about 90 degrees outside, 90% humidity today. So we told the customer to turn their air up pretty high. And so it's pretty comfortable in the house. So for those of you guys wondering, this is, right here, the best visual I can give you. I hope it's picking up. I'm not expecting any miracles on this one, just a nice thorough rinse. The 
before we groom. We're going to be really careful approaching this scene. Carpet that's been installed a long time. Be careful, guys. You don't want to have to do a repair. See, that's something to do with direction right there. Watch. See? Directional. How it lays. Not necessarily representative of cleaning. Just so you guys know this customer wanted a minimum service call and we fit them in for that price range we still managed to hit the spots and spills our minimum is 150 but if you notice right there that's color loss I'm not gonna be able to fix that so for those of you new you go and grab 30 40 different spotters and you're frustrated probably a reason why Trying to get out things like color shift, color loss. You know, it's one thing if it's a spot or a spill or even urine. Now, even urine can stain carpet. I've been doing the Z's. I'm going to switch to a drier path because I'm going to have to go a lot slower right here. I'm going to go through and re-groom because I'm going to apply a little odor control when I'm all finished up. Look at the shift difference. Oh man. Something you have to be realistic about is in life there is staining. You can't fix staining for life. You wouldn't expect a pair of 30 year old socks to come clean. Maintaining awesome heat right now. Yeah, we're gonna have to go a little heavy right here. Heavy and just move the wand slower. That'll allow the heat to penetrate. 
and go right back over where your last slash were. That will help it dry faster. Keep in mind, I have to go through and apply one last little coat of our obliterate. Make sure there's no odor, but the odor's gone completely right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the pouch a little bit for them off camera before we do that. So guys and gals, I totally forgot to press record on the GoPro while I groomed it and put down the, the obliterator. It's one of the deals, you know, think it through, didn't, didn't even check my battery, talked for a good 10 minutes, super great. Anyways, put down the obliterator, smells super great. You don't have to worry about any of the odors coming back with this product. So especially if you follow the instructions really, really well. I'm going to flip the camera around so you see what the carpet looks like. There you go. I'm not walking on it. I even use the CRB to put it in, you know, but you'll get it in other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I super appreciate you. You know, if you like me being a real person, hit thumbs up. If you want me to be more fake, put the thumbs down. If you guys like our products, order them from graymatterchemistry.com. So uh, remember that we're all out there together. We're all working together. Join our Facebook group if you need some support in growing your business and you want to make your business get better. Join our Facebook group. And as always, guys, just try to think it through. Not like me, but, you know, think it through. Get some obliterator and silver solution.